Good morning. So look upon another grey day, and that does seem to be of the way of things of late, as we delve deeper into September, and of course the onset of October calls out to us with each passing day. Before we know it, we'll be into those autumnal months, and very much the call of winter will soon be behind. Um, so, before I carry on, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Mary, who took the time to like my one of my posts yesterday, and anybody else that I may have missed, because Facebook doesn't always tell me about these things. I don't always get a notification, but I do believe that Mary did, so my deep gratitude for that. And so that's the first thing I'm grateful for. The second thing I'm grateful for is Catfile. Catfile, that's a bit random, Gary. I just watched an episode just now, and it takes me back to those mid nineties. That was a good program, that wasn't it? And uh, that was a nice way to wake up the day. And the third thing that comes to mind is you guys who are taking the time to be one of the soldiers who are actually here watching these videos. Um, I had eight views yesterday, so again, that old sort of like wavy lines continue. And I'll keep putting these videos out there um, with these, like I say, with these new features with Can with Canva that I'll be putting together and just slowly building my expertise, I suppose, and my knowledge as we can continue with those things. So, yeah, um, it's always a learning process. And I may well do a few shorts as well. And that one I'm limited to a minute, so I'll have to stop the waffle. Maybe down the line, a few meditations as well. Uh, not on shorts, though. That would be ridiculous. Anyway, today's theme, I'm going to get this little one here. We can see, and just fill that little camera up there, a cute little cat. A cute cat um, that's one of the slates. And when I look at that cat, what does it make me feel? It makes me feel good, makes me feel playful. And I do honestly believe that playfulness is something that we can neglect from time to time within our lives. And we need those little time out for ourselves, a little time to rest, play, and in, and then we can endeavor. You know, so it just helps build the energy because as well, it's a good way of releasing rubbish. You know, because when you think about when you're, you're doing your daily, like we saw the Groundhog Day, where you're forever picking up material energy, a dense energy. If you can't release that, it just cl cloaks you like this dark grey cloud. That's why you see so many people who are kind of get quite snappy at times. You think, oh, what's wrong with them? Or a little bit down in the dumps because there's this weight of obligation, of course, that comes to us all. But they lost that playfulness and unfortunately society knocks it out of us because what are they told when you start mucking it, playing around you're always told oh grow up even in the workplace somebody says oh look you know so get on with your work you know get on crack on with whatever you've got to do and knocks out your playfulness doesn't it and if you are playing around you will soon be told <laughs> you know and of course you get that when you're at work you do have to take your work kind of like do what you do seriously but you can always do it with a bit of a playfulness as well and it just lightens the energy but it, it's also important when you do come home that you do have that time to unwind in whatever way is right for you some people don't want to unwind with video games and this might make it sound a bit controversial because someone's always oh, should be doing that and i say yeah whatever makes you feel good unwind watching a bit of telly or whatever or play some little games with each other like board games or something and uh, better have a bit of fun you know it's important that we kind of embrace that playfulness from time to time and don't take ourselves too seriously because when we're forever in that state of gravitas the whole world will just bring you down and we are light energy we are love we are that is our true essence so when you kind of put those restrictions on that you become this kind of way. I mean, I know it's a bit of a buzzword, but it's like your inner child. It does behoove us to bring that side out of ourselves from time to time. And just imagine yourself as sort of seven or eight years old again. And um, just, just enjoy. Enjoy life. That's what it's there for. Anyway, those are my thoughts for today. Um, I wish you a beautiful uh, Tuesday, no matter what you're doing. And I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.